Hello, hello, everyone. Soon see if I am live. I think I am. All right. Hi there, everyone. Well, I am Dwango AC. I have Lord Tom with me here. Not sure uh, we have our game video up just yet. I don't have any monitor. Hi, Dwango. How are you? So I am doing all right. I am here on camera in our stream location. Glad to have everyone here. Uh, with us, we have Lord Tom, who is one of the authors of the Super Mario Brothers 3 Warps tasks, and I really wanted to show this particular run with Lord Tom being able to commentate, because this run is just absolutely out of control. It's a really wild run. Uh, Lord Tom, I don't know how you're going to keep up with the commentary on this one. I'm largely just going to sit here and go, wow, <laughs> a lot. So here's what we got. First of all, thank you for making this donation incentive happen. <laughs> uh, thank you. I'll, I'll do my best. Uh, yeah, this was really... Uh... Yeah, it's, it's quite the run. And we had $250 that came uh, in for this donation. Thank you all for the incentive donations. I was going to say uh, this is really the Super Mario Brothers 3 warps run that uh, I really wanted to make for several years before we kind of uh, got everything into place uh, technically uh, to really um, have all the entertainment and strats that, uh, that really seem at, at a really good level. Absolutely. All right. So this was a $250 donation incentive to show this run. That money, uh, like all the money on this channel, is going to National Alliance on Mental Illness this month. Thank you so much for making that happen. Uh, Lord Tom, I am going to power off the console because we always start tasks from power on. This particular task was not made just by Lord Tom. He also had help from Tampa and Maru. And this is Super Mario Bros. 3 Warps in 3, 2, 1, go. All right, so we're away, and um, not much has changed in the past several years with level 1-1, one, one, uh, zipping through blocks like you just saw there, uh, does save a, a few frames, and uh, grabbing that mushroom as optimally as possible um, is several frames quicker. Um, but uh, a, a big part of this, of success on 1-1, one, one is just not getting a star at the end, which helps you avoid uh, fanfare later. And here we have 1-2, um, uh, famous for the sliding strat. That's actually faster than P-Speed, all those jumps. Uh, and you just need uh, frame-perfect timing to preserve that speed throughout the level. Now this strat is completely new, a way to grab this leaf here by clipping into a block. Um, and then uh, a long-time uh, task contributor, uh, or task strat contributor, Rat926, um, found a faster way to get up onto the white block, which starts a timer to duck through it, which of course is the major time limiter for 1-3. Uh, now for the fourth, the strats here have been very minimally changed uh, since I started passing this game uh, amazingly about 10 years ago now. And it's really just all about uh, minimizing speed loss when you have the leaf. Okay, so we've got our two whistles. We're away for World 8 now. Uh, some auto-scrollers. And uh, so clips and uh, one-up jumping and the like here is... Uh, almost entirely done for entertainment. There's a little bit uh, of tactics here and there that is done to uh, reduce lag. Um, and I'll talk a little bit later. Um, we're actually choosing some of these attacks to manipulate the score, um, which uh, one discovery for this run is that um, the way this game is written uh, converting the score into the uh, base 10 display that you see down at the bottom there is actually really taxing for the NES's little 8-bit processor. 
Um, and so, depending on what the score is, scores that have a lot of high digits, so five or above, um, take a lot more CPU cycles than lower scores, so ones and zeros. And so that can actually increase lag at certain points if you enter a tube um, at the end of some of these auto scrollers and have high scores. And that's also the case throughout the uh, warpless and um, and all levels runs. Uh, what amazes me is that you're able to do this without taking any any real perceptible loss in lag. You're able to do all these showy mechanics without taking any time loss. Yeah, and so you see the score there is uh, exactly a million for a few seconds there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's uh, certainly a benefit of, uh, of TAS is uh, you try stuff, you see if it lags or not, and, um, and if it does, you know, you, you rework it, and uh, there's just a lot of trial and error. Uh, but none of these auto-scrollers have um, any lag during the regular gameplay. All of the lag is during pipe transitions and everything, uh, where there's always going to be some lag. Do we have time for a quick donation? And so that is um, some air walking there. Uh, if you get, yeah, um, just real quick, if you get pushed off into the left side of the screen uh, and then jump away, you can uh, run on air and even get P-Speed briefly. Uh, and uh, donation time is good now. We have a $250 from Mr. King. Being social is key to mental health. Let's get X the attention he needs. And with that, the donation incentive for an X only 100% task of Mega Man X6 has been met. Thank you so much. Yeah, outstanding. Thank you, Mr. King. Thank you and, so much. Um, so you can see again, we've got 1299 is our score, but then uh, we stopped just before going in there to get all those zeros to lose another frame of lag. And of course, coming up, no hands. Yeah, we uh, <laughs> are uh, very easily able to skip past that section. I don't know. I don't know what all the trouble people seem to have is, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> ask Mitch Flower Power about that sometime. He'll tell you all about it. Nothing like killing the end of a really yeah, promising yeah. run with a re hand. Re-records re might help a little bit. <laughs> yeah. How many re-records was this particular run? It's okay if the answer is a lot. Oh gosh, I don't remember if, uh, if somebody can uh, can pull that, but uh, but I, I am in a position where because I'm running on a real console in a f room with rubber floor, <laughs> I am not about to touch that computer right now. <laughs> so for some context here, for everyone watching at home, this is being played on a real Nintendo console right here in front of me. I can gesticulate all I like, but if I touch, I might create static electricity. And if there's one thing that video game consoles don't like when you want consistency, it's static electricity. Um, I would desync the run more than likely if, if I uh, leaned over and touched the computer right now, because I've probably already developed enough of a static charge to do it. And this this is not always this marathon unsafe, but you can see why sometimes we're a little bit paranoid uh -huh. when we get on a GameSpin quick stage. Go ahead, I talked over the top of a cool run section. Yeah, so 8.1, uh, definitely one of the coolest bits of platforming um, in, in this run. And um, uh, most of the improvements have been around for some time, uh, but in 8-2, uh, Maru found a uh, strat where you can um, duck uh, coming up to these piranhas coming up and uh, actually follow more closely behind your fireball uh, to save a key bit of time. And the reason for that is uh, Mario's um, hitbox is a little bit smaller when he's ducking. Oh, this is one of my favorite sections through here. The clips. So oh my goodness. So huge change in strategy for this fortress. Um, and it involves getting multiple stars, which has never been done before in a uh, task of this title.
And so you see we have to slow down, but we get the payoff here because we're able to jump underneath all those spikes because we have the star and uh, zoom right through, whereas otherwise we would have had to wait for the conveyor belts to restart and... Um, So, so that winds up saving uh, about a second, uh, about half a second overall, um, which uh, at this point for this uh, particular run uh, is pretty substantial. I believe that was the largest time save on this particular improvement, correct? Yeah. Yeah, and th there's some complexities uh, related to... Um, uh, how the uh, how the time we saved there affected the RNG uh, for Bowser at the end there, but uh, fortunately it did wind up being a big net time save. This run in particular is special to me because and I watched the For those the keeping track run. of um, Go ahead. one ups, uh, we're at 97 now, and we don't have the leaf, which makes them easier to get, uh, but we'll see what we can do. It is impressive that you get that many in this run. I know that so one of them is, had difficulty um, getting a 90. There's a minutes. special glitch where if you... Go ahead. Sorry, we keep talking over one another. Uh, if you stomp a bob -omb just as he's stopping, just on the right frame... Uh, then you'll skip all the other score levels and go right to a one up. This skip right here is impressive that uh, that Mitch Flower Power can pull that and, one And uh, so this strat coming up here, this wall jump, was actually the first SMB3 uh, TAS strat that I out uh, 10 years ago. Um, getting through this room quickly to save time on uh, on the any percent run from way back when. And now, of course, uh, Tampa discovered uh, for TASs, tass, or at least the Bowser Quick Drop and how to manipulate that. No, I need you clip into the floor, too. Just uh, and so you. Bowser, instead of booming way up into the air and falling again, just drops immediately, which is uh, done with a frame-perfect kill. And that was Super Mario Bros. 3 Warps in... Let me get the time on this correct. It's a very and short And it's task. a happy end. Yeah. Uh, this one is 10 minutes, 24 seconds, and, uh, uh, and uh, 34, uh, 10, 10, 24, 34 uh, was a total. Let me pull up the submission notes because I actually want to know how many re-records re there were. You guys did 21,692 re-records on this one alone after many, uh, like almost a decade of redoing this run over and over again. So I'm not sure what the total number of re-records for all the cumulative work that's gone into this is, but it's pretty impressive. Yeah, that, that definitely sounds about right. And uh, yeah, usually... Uh... It's surprising how quickly they get into the, the five digits on the re-records. Definitely is. Anything else you'd like to contribute before we head on to the next run? Uh, just uh, thank you for uh, organizing this. Um, I'm a big fan of NAMI, which has been very helpful to my family, and uh, happy to help raise money for that cause. So donate, everyone. Uh, thank you for everyone who sent love uh, the way of uh, my tasses, and uh, and thank you to Tampa and Maru for helping me figure this run out. Definitely. Thank you so much, Lord Tom, for coming here and joining us on this run. Looking forward to more content from you later on in the marathon, especially the stuff for... Wow, there's a donation incentive for Swordless. So I'm going to let our our, uh, our host, assuming they have the info in front of them, I'm going to let the host talk about that as we transition to the next run. Thank you so much for watching Taskbot play a run on a real console. Just to prove it for you, here is the actual console we played that on. We really did go right through the real... Nintendo, this is a top loader, but otherwise is unmodified other than a clean video path. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to head on to the next run. See you in a bit. Thanks.